doing? You're ironing clothes or what? Professor Horner, what are you doing? I know you're getting ready for a class. So what's the project? Okay. So this project, we're going to make some wall hangings. So this is old canvas that I had. I cut it down to small sizes and we're going to use these wooden dowels and we're going to put this right here. We're going to wrap it and I'm going to use hot glue and wrap it and glue it down. And then the students, the young, these are the young students. They're going to stamp, they have rubber stamps and they're going to put paint on it and they're going to make little designs on the fabric. Then they'll be able to hang it with a string over the top. You'll see it from this side like that. And it'll hang from the top with a string. Okay. Now tell me what kind of material are you using? You said it was old canvas. Is this linen? Is this cotton? This is cotton. This is old. This is cotton duck. Okay. Now but it's not heavy, so it wasn't. It wasn't good enough for my uh, painting, so I okay. So let me give this straight. This was canvas you were you purchased for painting, right? But it wasn't heavy enough, right? So I took it off the stretcher. Ah. And now I'm going to use it for the kids. So in a way, it's a good recycling, right? And so you can use this for a nice craft project. Mm -hmm. And there's something that the children are going to love and treasure and hang up and give as a gift, right? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> now, tell me something. When this is finished, can we post the results of some of the pictures, the yes. stamping that they did? Yes. Okay. I'm looking forward to this. There's a lot of things you can do with this. Hmm. And about what size is this? I know you had me help you cut the canvases out. What size is this one? About, about 14 inches? 14 inches. And this is about 12 inches on the fabric. And it's about 24 inches long. Okay, 24 inches long and 14 inches on the fabric. Right. Uh, from the top, from one end to the other? For going across 14. 14, right. Right. Oh. But it can be any size. You can make them large, long. I'm making it smaller because the, the, the kids are young. Hmm. And then plus they can complete it fast and right. I won't have to finish. use as many stamps. And will the stamps be in color? The paint, yeah. We're going to use paint so that they can use as many colors as they would like. Sounds like a great project for children when you're babysitting too. Well, because you can keep them neat. Keep them neat. Keep them busy and keep it neat. Okay. Thank you, Professor Horner. Looking forward to seeing the results. You're going to film this while you're in class tonight? The results? We'll try or we'll show some steps. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Here are some of the projects that were produced by the students. You can see that they use stencils. They use some overlays with stamping. And you can see how they're hung on the wall. So at the end of the day, you can achieve some pretty nice results that the students can use to hang on their walls to, to show their parents some of the work that they've done. Now these works here that you're looking at were done by college students. But these works can also be done by any age. It doesn't matter the age. It just, all that matters is the creativity that takes place 